Hi guys, so I'm on to the Kiss guitar. For those of you that already know the story, I do apologise, but I'm going to say it again for people that don't know it. I had this guitar off a guy that seen me, like it's hard to believe, like at the time, he made me feel a little bit famous, which was crazy. But anyway, when I went to New York, I was on You Dizzy's live show. In fact, I was on my own live show that You Dizzy was hosting for me because I had Jersey City Internet and I couldn't I couldn't do my Sunday show. So Dizzy was hosting it. Um, and the guy that gave me this, Airbrush Ali, he lives in Jersey City. And he'd been watching me and Dizzy. And I think he said he watches VW 1967 and a few others. But uh, he'd actually, he actually been a fan of my channel for a, a couple of years, but never commented. Um, he likes to listen to my music and stuff and he likes watching me build guitars but anyway he was watching dizzy's show i ran out of booze so i had to go to the uh the shop or the, as americans say the liquor store and uh, and get some more get some more beers because i was on a live show i just literally walked with my camera on my phone I was still on a live show airbrush alley was watching he realized that i was just a couple of blocks away from where he lives which is crazy and uh, and he contacted us on the show. He wanted to uh, give me a gift. It was, in fact, it's all. If you go to Dizzy's channel, um, if I can find find the, the link, I'll put, I'll put it in the description. It's all. It was all live, so you can go back and watch this. Um, but he wanted to give me a gift. We figured out a place to to meet Gringos, which was just in between where he lived and I lived, uh, or my, I was staying in the Airbnb. Um, so I went over there. Waited 10 minutes thinking it was a wind up, somebody's winding me up, but it wasn't. He actually showed up and he gave me this, which was unbelievable. I mean, the, the dude is proper cool. I'll link his channel in, in the description too. But he gave me this and he done all the artwork. I mean, his name's Airbrush Alley. His real name's Freddy, but Airbrush Alley. Um, but this was put on wrong. The bridge was put on upside down. So I wanted to go and buy some strings and string it up, but I couldn't. So when I brought it home, my plan was to take this off, reposition it. Um, although some of this is going to be uh, exposed and it don't look it don't look nice, but I was still going to do it. But now I've looked at it further, like now it's on the on the bench as a job. Um, I'm inspecting this because I'm new to guitar building, so sometimes things. You know spring out at you that you that you didn't know so all these frets he's he's lacquered over them so there's there's a thick coat of lacquer over everything um and if you can see here uh, where i had to chip the lacquer off this it's quite thick so i imagine it's the same all over the fretboard and airbrush alley you even lacquered over the the this bridge <laughs> so that's supposed to be bumps in it for the strings but it's smooth so I don't want to I don't want to damage this any more than I already have by taking this off because I've damaged the, the lacquer there. I mean that can be touched up and, and I can sort that out and put mother of pearl back back into this. Um, but if it was just a case of just sticking this on in the right position and stringing it up, then I would have done it. Like look, I'm, I'm halfway to, to doing it. Um, but it needs so much work it just it's just not going to play right and this is going to be all exposed i mean i couldn't i couldn't clear this up i mean look at the artwork it's unbelievable i don't know if the light's too, too shiny but look the back's even better i mean it's a bit dusty where it's been in the shop but it's pretty cool so what i'm going to do i'm going to put this back on upside down as it was put on by uh, Freddy Airbrush Alley. And it's gonna be an ornament on my wall in my man cave. It's gonna be part of the part of the the set. So or part of my studio, you know, it's gonna and it's a it's a great story. I mean the story behind it I'll be telling for the rest of my life. Um but yeah, so, Freddy unfortunately you're not gonna be able to uh listen to being played. I do apologise, but I think it's for the best. Um, and if you agree with me, let me know in the comments. But that's it. I'm not going to keep you any longer. It's, it's an amazing gift from America, which was an amazing trip, which was all 
if it wasn't for YouTube, it wouldn't have happened. I mean, I, I put a lot of hard work into making it happen, but YouTube uh, definitely helped out. So that's it. Peace out, and uh, see you on the next build. And the next build is epic. It's, it's one of a kind. I'm halfway through doing it now, and it's one of a kind. It's, it's, it's never been done. Well, as far as this is not, it's not on YouTube anyway. Um, so it's going to be a de definitely a unique guitar. Which all my guitars are unique, but this one, I think I think you're going to like it. I think everyone's going to like it. So I'm not going to keep you any longer. Uh, peace out, and see you on the next vid.